ओके सर सो ऑल व्यूवर्स इट इज गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल व्यूवर्स एंड वी आर हैप्पी टू अनाउंस दैट एज डिसाइड बाय आवर कंप्यूटर अथॉरिटी ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ नेशनल साइंस डे वी आर स्टार्टिंग आवर वेबिनार सीरीज एंड विद आवर इमिनेंट साइंटिस्ट गेस्ट डॉक्टर सोमनाथ रप्पा साइंटिस्ट एफ मेट्रोलॉजिकल ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट हेड I will deliver his lecture on basics of science of weather forecasting. Uh, viewers, uh, it's a very glad to intro, uh, introduce our webinar series. And uh, those they have questions, they should put their questions on chat box. So I hand over this uh, now opportunity. I take opportunity to uh, tell Dr. Sobhna Datta he can start his class uh, webinar lecture on this topic. Thank you, sir. Am I visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning to all, and greetings to the National Science Day, twenty-eight February, two thousand twenty-one. Uh, India Meteorological Department. I wish to inform. that india meteorological department happened to be the pioneer in the education of meteorology in india and in 1943 india meteorological department started its formal training in general meteorology and then after lot of time evolution today we are there with its present set competent authorities in the department in our parent ministry for quite a long time desiring that why not mti can initiate a new activity of organizing Uh, webinar series on science. Anyhow, uh, ultimately, we all at uh, tried our level best, and ultimately, uh, we could do it. However, uh, uh, this webinar series uh, it would have been better if it would have inaugurated by some. dignitaries at the apex level however those dignitaries at the apex level they are very busy on this particular day uh, uh by due to their pre assigned uh, commitments but at the same time we also don't leave, want to leave the opportunity of inaugurating this new initiative on an auspicious day and following the desire of the competent authorities of ind uh, we are trying to delivering the first lecture series first lecture of the webinar lecture series so in my lecture uh, i will try to cover a very basics of the science of weather forecasting so now i will uh, now i will start sir you are not audible no no i now i am now i am audible yes sir yes sir yes yeah so topic of the lecture is basics of the science of weather forecasting i will start with the very whether we all know uh, it is the atmospheric condition prevailing at a place at a particular time that is the weather at that 
that place at that particular time. And we all know generally whether at any place at any time it is expressed as how cold it is, how hot it is, how dry it is, how humid, wet it is, whether it is raining or not. So therefore, uh, therefore from this expression itself, it is clear that whether at any place at any time it is expressed in terms of the values of some meteorological parameters, which weather parameters like yeah, temperature, winds, speed or direction, humidity, etc. And we all know weather varies with time and space because of the fact that weather parameters varies time and space. Mathematically, I request you to please mute your microphone. Yes, sir. Disturbance. Mathematically, we express it by saying that weather is a function of longitude, latitude, altitude, and time. Weather has significant societal impacts. A few of them only have been listed in this transparency. Transport activities disruption postponement of takeoff or landing of aircraft, agricultural loss due to heavy rainfall or health storms, then viral disease outbreak, water scarcity, water logging, power breakdown, postponement or scheduling of community function, hampering of the relief activities by the authorities due to adverse weather condition, which, which were, which were, which happened during Amphan period. This slides is very much well known slides. Many, uh, many places this has been shown. This is a natural hazard, uh, natural hazards in India. Different natural hazards: drought, forest fire, earthquake, flood, heat wave, thunderstorm, heavy rainfall, cyclone, landslide. You see, except this forest. Except this earthquake, all other earth tools are very much linked with weather condition. Most of the natural hazards are weather uh, related, and we know in India, in different seasons, what are the different weather events are there. Winter, it is cold wave, fog, snow, frost, the monsoon season, heat wave. Already it will start thunderstorms, squalls, monsoon, heavy rainfall due to monsoon varia, interseasonal variability. We sometimes we get droughts at some places also, then post-monsoon cyclone, heavy rainfall. And the same thing is has been schematically shown. C stands, and it is written here, C stands for cyclone, monsoon lows, metroposphetic cyclonic circulation. Offshore vortex, offshore trap, etc. Monsoon trap. These are the different weather systems. This is this we all know. And weather system, they they have different scales of time and spatial scales also. So here actually there are a variety of weather phenomena across different time and spatial scales. This is the also very well known. Uh, and a very well known uh, slide, which is so, which shows different atmospheric phenomena across different time and spatial scales. Now, let us come to the topic that is weather forecast. In a simple, we can say that weather forecast basically it is a scientific technique to tell about the future condition or future state of the atmosphere at a place. Knowing the present state of the atmospheric condition at that place, at that and also surrounding place. Weather forecast requires a complete knowledge of the present condition of the atmosphere at a place. In terms of those parameters which I mentioned, and we all know that meteorological fraternity in any country is forecasting weather as accurately as possible. 
atmosphere as a dynamical system. Dynamical system, basically it refers to a system which has a time evolution, means which varies with time. So accordingly, or definitely, as the atmospheric condition at a place varies with time, so therefore I can say, we can definitely say that atmosphere is also a dynamical system. And every dynamical system is desired to have its prediction. However, prediction of a dynamical system requires, requires two things mainly. One is the complete information of the present or current state of the dynamical system. And another one thing is required, that is the rules which governs the time evolution of the dynamical system. So thus, that's why, that's why prediction of atmospheric condition at a place, that means prediction of weather at a place requires the complete knowledge or complete information about the present state of the atmospheric condition at that time, at that, uh, at that place. Weather focus, importance of weather focus. This is very, uh, very, very well known. Advanced information about weather condition along with the expected hazards. This is immensely useful for the planners and the policy makers. As such, along with the advanced uh, information about the weather condition, along with that, another one of information is also very important for the planners. That is the, um, that is the uncertainty in the information. Then weather forecast, it helps farmers that we advance information about the weather condition, helps the farmers to plan when to plant their crops and when to harvest them. It helps the pilots to know when to take off, where to land, when to land, helps the seller at sea to schedule their journeys. It also helps the people to plan what to put on or dress for the day. That means whether the day is hot or not, whether to put a sweater or jacket, whether to carry an umbrella. And also it helps the government to make contingency plan if required. There are many, a few of, there are many importances. I don't claim the bulleted, in, uh, bullet, these bullets are exhaustive. A few, of, few only I have listed here. There are many. Weather forecast had different users, air traffic. As such, we can say that all transport, that's why air traffic, marine, road, rail transport, agriculture, water, tourism, planners, health, all stakeholders, hydrology, the sector, general public, including community. What are the basic needs for any or basic needs for the weather forecasting job? First and foremost is a qualified and trained human resource. Medicine cannot do everything. A very robust observational system network consisting of surface, upper air, automated, everything. Tool for remotely sensed observation also, satellite radar. Means for exchange or communication of information. You may, I may have a very good quality observation, but this need to be exchanged. I cannot just keep it in my own pocket. Computational capability is very, very important. Computational capability, just like high power computing system. Now India is having all those things. I proudly, I can say our MOES is having. Then a platform for analysis of available information, but over, by overlying on above another. Because we are getting many informations. We are getting forecast information. We are getting observation information from different sources. All those information should be available in one platform. That is information like overlying on each other. So such systems should be also there. And an effective display system. These are observational system. This is a typical thing I have taken from WMO site. So 
these are the different components of observation system where you can see surface object. We can in the picture also you can see this is a typical surface observation surface observation station. This is our National Meteorological Service Office of any country with surface stations, upper air, pilot balloon, everything you can see. Satellite, radar, everything you can see radar, automatic weather stations. Okay, everything it is there. Uh, ship weather, ocean buoy, aircraft, everything. So these are the different components of observational system. Now come to the weather forecasting uh, method. Broadly, we have three major types of weather forecasting. One is synoptic, then statistical, dynamical method. I am sorry, I should have written there four dynamical method and ensemble prediction system, but anyhow ensemble prediction system, I can put it under this also as a sub. Now in the synoptic method, actually we all know this is a suit of different tasks. It starts from taking observation over the entire globe simultaneously at some fixed time, which we call synoptic hours of observation. Then all observed of the, the then preparation of the coded messages of the observed information, exchange of the coded message among different forecasting centers, then decoding the coded messages, then plotting of the weather elements after decoding on the weather charts for respective station. Once plotting is over, then analysis of the charts of different weather parameters are done. Analysis refers to drawing of ISO lines of different weather parameters, just like pressure, temperature, etc. When we are analyzing pressure, then we say that it is isobaric analysis. When we are analyzing temperature, that we, then we say it is isothermal analysis, like that. And once the analysis is completed, and it it is if the analysis is perfect to a greater extent, then definitely we must be able to identify the zones with maximum value or minimum value of different parameters clearly. And these are follow, these are our technically we say the synoptic features. Synoptic features are cold area, cold, warm, trough, ridge, low pressure area, high pressure area. These are all your synoptic synoptic features. So a good analysis must give rise to the clear identification of the synoptic features. And once the analysis is being done by the duty officers, then the analyzed chart, analyzed chart is examined by the forecasters and forecasters through their qualifications and professional trainings and experience they have the knowledge of weather associated with different synoptic features. For example, forecaster know cold wave and fog occurs over a station once a western disturbance passed away through it. Like that, there are uh, many actually. And accordingly, using the forecaster's knowledge, forecaster's own knowledge and experience, forecaster issue is synoptic weather, uh, weather forecast. However, accordingly, a synoptic weather forecast bulletin is. So, however, this method has certain limitations. Uh, it is good for a, uh, giving broad region for a broad period. Most important, important thing is it involves lots of subjectivity, like knowledge, experience of the forecasters. And uh, another one thing is using this method, location and time specific forecast is difficult. Next come to the another one method that is statistical method. In the statistical method, what I mean past data of long period, we say it is a time series. For the variable to be forecast, suppose if it is uh, rainfall, then rainfall time series we use. The variable to be forecast, we call we know that we call it prediction. And the variables to be used for the prediction, its time series also we are having. This time, two time, this two or more time series we are using. Then statistical association, that is correlation between each of the predictors and the predictor is computed. Then a regression equation, a mathematical regression is established. We call it regression equation. It may be linear, it may be multiple, it may be uh, simple, it may be multiple, it may be linear, nonlinear, 
whatever it will be established between the predictant and the those the predictor. All predictors, not all predictors, having predictors having significant correlation. Then this equation it is used for forecast the future value of the predictor. This is a quite uh, well known and very popular method also. And we all know that long range forecast of Indian summer monsoon rainfall issued by IMD was initially based on this statistical technique only. However, this method is also having some difficulties. First of all, this correlation between the predictors and predictant it changes, go on changing from place to place, season to scene. Even for a given place and time, correlation and regression coefficient, it changes with time. And another one thing, statistical prediction, it is good for predicting mean. However, in case of extreme weather, it may fail. Uh, fail. And most important thing is that the reason of the uh, exploding, the reason of the failure may be very, very difficult, rather impossible. Then comes to now, before starting the numerical weather prediction, I, I will just try to uh, inform that weather forecasting and the initial value problem. In 1904, Bartnis first realized that the problem of forecasting weather is an initial value problem. Initial value problem is a mathematically it is expressed as solving a partial differential equation. On the left hand side, first order time derivative of an unknown function is there. On the right hand side, a known function of space and time is there. And along with that, that value of the unknown function at the initial time, that is current time, at all points are given. It is available with us. And what is our task? Task is to find out the value of the unknown function at all future time at all the points. This is actually mathematically we say it is an initial value problem. Equation, whatever equation, this, this equation, delta this first equation, this equation is nothing but the mathematical form of the rules which I have mentioned in the slides of dynamical system. Rules for time evolution of the atmosphere dynamical system. And the given condition, this condition is nothing but the mathematical form of the current state of the dynamical system, atmosphere dynamical system. We call it initial condition. If a very, now, uh, now one thing we can do that suppose I am having an initial condition. Using that initial condition, I, I am solving it. And when I am solving it, for a given point, let us say, then I am having different value of this unknown function at different time. Then I can draw a graph, y-axis, value of the unknown function at different time, and x-axis, all future time. And if I plot it, and after, the, and, uh, uh, after joining the plotted points, I will get a graph. This graph, we may say, it is a forecast trajectory. Forecast now, if I change very little the initial condition, technically we call it a small perturbation in the initial condition. And if it results similar small change in the forecast, then we say this initial value problem is well posed or properly posed. But if it doesn't happen, that means if due to a slight change in the initial condition, if there is a large change in the uh, forecast, then we say this initial value problem is improperly posed or ill posed. That is not well posed. And many times it has happened also, it has been observed that a slight change in the initial condition results in large change in the forecast and this may be attributed to the non-linearity and improper representation of the physical process in the atmosphere in the atmosphere whatever governing equations are there that is this type of equations are there on the right hand side 
on the right hand side there are terms which are expressed as a product of two dependent variables such terms we call it non linear terms and those non linear terms are representing the non linear effect or non linearity of the atmosphere of course our atmosphere is non linear and so that's why it is a, we, uh, this change this uh, the, this that means this ill postness of the initial uh, iv initial value problem may parts may be attributed to a greater extent to the non linearity that is presence of such non linear terms in the governing equations and also improper representation of physical processes in the atmosphere there are many physical processes are there which we which we could not represent perfectly in mathematical in mathematical terms so this is also this may also be one of the reason in the nwp there are certain a basic realization is there that uh, atmosphere is a dynamical system accordingly its prediction requires rules for time evolution most important realization is whether at any place at any time is that result of time okay that is not uh, this one whether at any place at any time is a function of some basic meteorological parameters which are your wind pressure temperature humidity density etc and mathematically we say whether wx is whether x cap this is the special point three dimensional special point whether at any time it is a function f stand function of all these variables all these variables so therefore if i know if i know the value of these seven parameters at a given time at a point then it is possible to find out the weather at that point at that time so therefore the problem of forecasting weather has now been translated can be translated to the problem of forecasting the future values of these seven variables now future value of any one of these seven variables can be found out if we know their present value that means if we have the initial if we know the initial condition for each of them and also if we have a rule for the time evolution of each of these seven parameters which we call governing equation fortunately we are fortunate enough fortunately in the meteorology literature for each of these seven variables such rules are available and fortunately through a robust observational system followed by required quality checks and pre processing we have necessary initial condition for this seven variables so theoretically or in principle i in principle nwp should be able to provide time and location specific forecast it is a generic broad structure of any nwp model every nwp model uh, there will be one an input those inputs need to be pre processed so there will be a pre processing unit pre processing unit then pre processed initial condition goes to the model in the model those governing equations are integrated forward with respect to time numerically numerically for each and every uh, regularly spaced grid points in uh, grid points and and future value at every time step for of all these seven variables which are nothing but your model output this model output we cannot provide directly to the stakeholders as it has a very little use by the stakeholders direct value so therefore it needs also post processing post processing and also model output it also goes to the pre processing for the next next time next time 
and after post processing it goes to the stakeholders so that is in the pre processing pre processing of the input observed data in the pre processing of the input observed data is carried out as direct observation cannot directly feed to the hpc so whatever i told the same thing is uh, written here Imper our model is in imperfect not perfect observation is not perfect it is not possible to know the true value of any parameters many times we think that whatever we are observing that is the true value of that parameter at that place at that time it is not so because true value we cannot uh, we cannot find out we only try to get a better and better estimate of the true value observation by uh, any mean just like uh, direct physio man made observation or machine made observation or prediction from previous our model run these are all nothing but the estimates of the true values of the parameter and statistical theory tells us that every estimate has certain error so thus whatever initial condition we are providing to the model even after pre processing also we cannot say with guarantee that is 100 it is perfect that is 100% correct another one thing mathematical representation of many physical processes are not perfect in the governing equations as i mentioned in my previous slide so therefore model is also not perfect so thus thus from an imperfect model solving solved using imperfect initial condition a perfect forecast desiring a perfect forecast is too much it is not possible basically theoretically it is not possible thus forecast is forecast only every forecast contains certain amount of error Certain amount of error. Always there is a chance, maybe small, of forecast failure. This is nothing but forecast failure means forecast error uh, beyond the uh, tolerance limit. This is your, this is our forecast uncertainty. Forecast uncertainty is estimated and expressed in terms of probability. So therefore, one thing is very clear: if for a given weather phenomena. at a given time at a given place using a given initial condition using a given model i cannot expect more than one forecast i will have only one forecast and that forecast we all know this is called a deterministic forecast so therefore we cannot do any statistics on that it is not possible for that for that we should have number of forecasts number of forecast other i can say it is a sample of forecast if i have a sample of forecast then i can talk of many thing i can talk about the mean i can talk 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 about the standard deviation even i can talk about its probability then distribution function also so that is also in a simple way for a given weather forecast uh, given weather forecast can be generated by a number of forecasters or forecasting method followed by finding the mean standard of what i told communicating forecast information along with its uncertainty helps the planner and policy makers very significantly another one important thing that is lorenz in 1963 discovered the fact that the atmosphere like any dynamical system with instabilities has a limit of predictability that means beyond certain period we can't expect the uh, correct forecast okay within certain tolerance limit it is not possible as a certain uh, has a uh, finite limit of predictability he has uh, proposed is a two weeks even if the model is perfect and even if the initial conditions are known almost perfectly theoretically it is called deterministic chaos because our atmosphere whatever is is written a dynamical system with is a chaotic system it was a chaotic system it is not possible so therefore therefore along with providing the forecast information we have to make some arrangement 
of providing the information about the uncertainty in the forecast and this gives rise to another one forecast system that is ensemble prediction system so that is only deterministic forecast just now i told unique forecast obtained from a given model using a given ic initial condition for a given weather system at a given location and at a given future time no scope for specifying uncertainty eps it is a group of group or a sample of many nwp forecast but we don't use the word sample in enough we say ensemble ensemble why we should use ensemble because forecast as we have already discussed we have uh, seen that forecast from even very best model can go wrong and ensemble for prediction system enables the forecasters to quantify the uncertainties in the forecast what we do in the eps that i have uh, i have tried to explain in a, a schematic way see to get a ensemble forecast for a given weather phenomena at a given place for a future a given future time we should have a number of forecast number of forecast for a for a given weather system at a given time you, we can generate by two way one way is one nwp model but many initial condition another one way is same initial condition many nwp models first case is initial condition is same and many forecasting systems we are having also imd forecasting system and then nsf forecasting system ecmwf forecasting system ecmw model we say model uk office uk met office model ecmw model etc etc so f1 f2 f3 f5 f6 in both the picture they are all your different forecasting system both all the forecasting system use the same initial condition and they are generating the forecast these are the two cases in this case we can see all the forecast they are diverging from each other here we see most of the forecast are they are converging except one so quite natural quite natural uh, quite natural it has less uh, uh, it has more uncertainty more uncertainty and that means less reliable and here it it is having uh, less uncertainty here it was having more uncertainty it is less uncertainty so it is more reliable case 2 is so i am having a single initial condition single initial condition these initial conditions are given in finite small perturbations small perturbations are given uh, to the initial condition it is very simple thing that whatever initial value of the meteorological parameter we have already having uh, uh, having from that by changing a little bit let me let us let, uh, let us generate many values of those meteorological parameters so but we have to remember that uh, this uh, magnitude of the perturbation should be small so therefore that's why i have what i have done here uh, centered at the uh, initial condition i have drawn a circle with infinite small radius and within that radius within that circle only all perturbations Uh, perturbed initial condition should be there and using all the perturbed initial condition in initial condition same model is being run so that is any model run with initial condition 1 2 3 etc etc and we can we can have the uh, different types of situation two situation i have shown in any case we can uh, very easily see in this situations forecasts are diverging from each other having more uncertainty and here it is less uncertainty so that definitely giving a single even not only that using many forecast we can do lot of probability uh, a lot of statistics also we can find out the what is the forecast mean what is the forecast uh, ensemble mean what is the ensemble spread that is standard deviation variance how much it is there and different probability distribution also what is the probability of 75% uh, what is the probability of A heavy rainfall. What is the probability of this rainfall? Like that, like that. So 
that only what we do in the EPS, that is the same thing only where it is written. Instead of running a given NWP model once, once using a single initial condition, it may be run many times using very slightly different initial condition. Otherwise, instead of one model run, many model NWP models may run using same initial condition. If the different forecasts in the ensemble are all very similar to each other, then we can be confident of our forecast. If they all develop differently with time, then we will have less confidence. And these are the different product, as I told, ensemble mean, ensemble spread, etc. And I am now at the fag end of the, my presentation. Conclusions from our discussions, what we have found that weather of code, it plays a very important role in our day-to-day -day life. Forecast weather is very much essential to all sectors, societal sectors. And observational system plays a very important role in preparation of the initial condition at desired level of uh, accuracy. And atmosphere being a dynamical system, it predicts and requires complete information about the current state and the rules for its time evolution, which are provided by governing equations and the initial conditions. Information about current state, uh, I have already told, uh, broadly there are three types of uh, forecast, synoptic, statistical, and dynamical. As neither the observation nor the model rules are perfect, models or rules are perfect, so uncertainty is inevitable. However, considering the accommodating of uncertainty, EPS appears to be better. Thank you. Thank you. Siris, I have finished. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much uh, for your uh, valuable guidance. And uh, it is, uh, sir, uh, how that uh, entire uh, your lecture is over, it is, uh, we can now uh, think that you should get more knowledge from your lecture. So, sir, we got one question uh, from our uh, Dr. Prakash Khare. He is a retired scientist from IMD. He is requested that one lecture on role of IMD and its training program in human resource development in the weather forecasting should be done. So, we will do. We will do. Very shortly, we will conduct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, thank you very much, sir. So, if they have any problem, uh, any question, they can put uh, after the video also, they can put their question. And thank you very much, sir. Okay. And all the uh, very good uh, for means uh, National Science Day. Congratulations to all. And uh, I wish that uh, this journey of uh, webinar will continue. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Very thank you. Much. Thank you. Shall I leave now, series? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.